are supporting the City of Grand Forks with the flood relief efforts. We're filling sandbags and uh, delivering sandbags to locals in certain areas of the community that are low-lying. My name is Tim Pallack. I'm uh, with the British Columbia Wildfire Service uh, based out of Grand Forks here in the Boundary Fire Zone. Anthony Vandenborn. I'm with the uh, Sentinel Unit crew here down at the City Works Yard. I'm working in conjunction with the fire department and some of the City Works staff members as well. We've got roughly 15 members of the Sentinel Unit crew and some initial attack folks as well that are uh, on site filling sandbags. And we do also have some other initial attack crews working within the community, providing some assistance with Tiger Dam deployment and sandbag construction. My name is Kate Forbes and I'm a Senior Flood and Dike Specialist with the Kootenai Boundary Region for the Ministry of Forests. We're here in Grand Forks today, part of the Flood Assessment Unit, We're here because there's an increased risk of flooding in the Boundary Region. The Tiger Dam's general idea is that it's filled with water and it's the same density as obviously the river water, so it's a temporary type of flood protection. Um, ideally not on a riverfront uh, because of obviously of hazards of being punctured by the river, but a uh, setback like this can be really useful for temporary flood mitigation. It's critical to have enough resources to deploy these quickly uh, because there's not a lot of lead time in front of a lot of flood events. Having resources like BC Wildfire come in and get these set up quickly uh, with knowledgeable team members is absolutely essential.